do it in a way, as I said earlier today, without burdening them, without burdening the middle class, without raising taxes, expanding health care for all of our kids, giving all of our senior citizens free public transportation, giving all of our uninsured women access to mammograms, pap smears, God forbid cancer is found, the treatment necessary to cure them and make them healthy, giving all of our three and four year olds, every parent of a three and four year old, the same opportunities to send their kids to preschool like Patty and I have had an opportunity to do for our kids. Put a record amount of money in education without raising taxes on people. Raise the minimum wage two times for low wage workers, but President Bush wouldn't raise it even once. Just real things for real people who otherwise don't generally have a voice and are generally not the priorities of government. Uh, I'm obviously sad by what's happened, but again, as I said, not at all surprised. And I want to say to all of you, the people of Illinois, who I've been blessed to represent as governor for the last six years, and before that, as a congressman for six years, and before that, as a state legislator, and before that, as a prosecutor, that I love the people of Illinois today, now, more than I ever did before. Love you too. And thank you. And the fight goes on. Just because I'm not governor anymore doesn't mean I'm not to keep fighting for you and for the causes that I fought for my whole life. Thank Ordinary you. people like my parents who worked hard and struggled to build a better life for their children. Who knew what the struggles were, who had fears and challenges, but also had hopes and aspirations and big dreams for their kids. Those simple values that they teach us in Sunday school, the golden rule, you should do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Those are the things I'm going to keep fighting for now that I'm in private life. And I also want to say that I'm going to keep fighting to clear my name. I'm disappointed in the state senate actions because they deprived me of an opportunity to bring witnesses and prove my innocence.